Hi, I'm back. I'm Elizabeth. Sorry it's been so long since I posted a video. It's been a little over two months, I think. Um, so, I don't have a lot to show. Um, most of the things that I donate, I made have been donated to where I was donating them. I donated two full boxes to a local church. Um, one box to a cancer pavilion place and one box to a homeless shelter near me and one box to my choir practitioner who gives the um, mittens and stuff to like I talked about in my previous videos um, mittens to you know the cancer place and everything else so um, we're gonna start off with finished objects I don't have a lot but I do have some um, I guess the first thing we're going to start with is some little um, newborn hats or baby hats. So we have this one. Sorry. It, it's showing up way off. Um, it's out of the Pink to Pink colorway from Red Heart Super Saver. I have two of them in that colorway. Just a lot of left leftover yarn that I had from previous projects. And then I have one that is blue and white. Which they're the rolled up ones. Um and then I have um an adult size one off of the um biggest loom. It's actually it's showing up blue, but it's really purple and green. Also, Red Heart Super Saver. And then I finished another one. It's, um, it's actually two colors of pink and green. It's a darker pink down here, which is pretty in pink. And then a softer, more like a, not a light, light pink, but kind of a light pink. I have that one. Excuse me. And then, um, that's all the loom, finished loom knitted projects. And then I have a couple crocheted projects. I have a crocheted beanie. I love making beanie hats. And this one, it turned out so cool. How the black and white just kind of zigzagged and striped so I thought that was pretty cool and then I have this one I ran out of the top color which is Jade Super Red Heart Super Saver and just plain old white hair Super Red Heart Super Saver so I thought that one turned out really cool um then I have a finished cow this is um, one of Fiber Flux's cows. It's a pretty um, stitch, like V stitch. I love her. I love her cows and her scarves. And when you watch her videos, she's so detailed and tells you exactly what to do. And I just love watching her show, watching her videos, and getting um. You know everything you need to know she even tells you how long with the hook you use she tells you how long and how wide it's going to be which is super nice and then the next item I have finished item I have of crocheted it is a pair of little mittens um, this is the color claret and then the blue is aqua red heart super saver um, so that is all of my finished product. Oh, no, excuse me, it's not. Excuse me. I also, sorry for the crinkling. A long time ago, I just found them. I made was in this bag making phase. If you're that scratching, that's my cat at my door. I latched it. He doesn't like it latched. But 
it's part, it's these messenger bags. He really hates my dark clothes, but just ignore them. That's what I try to do. But it's like it's big, and then it has straps. It's like a purse. It's very roomy in the inside. So I made this one in black and spring green, and then I made another one in blue and black. And I go have I made a lot of other ones, but they already went to the place. Excuse me, the places um, that I donate to. So let me just mark this off my list. So that, that. That. Okay. Um. Let's go on to my whips. Let's do this one right here. This is another fiber flux scarf. It is the gold leaf infin. It's going to eventually be an infinity scarf, but it's these really pretty pretty V's and stuff. Um, this isn't finished. <laughs> I had to roll my skein into a cake, so I had to cut the yarn and um, make the cake. But I have two, two full cakes, and they're going to go on this scarf, so hopefully it'll be a super, super long scarf. Um, I'll just cross that off, too. The next is a knitted hat. Um, I showed this before, and since then I haven't done a lot of rows on it, but I did a couple. And I just love how this is turning out. It's out of the Red Heart Seeker Saver. Um, I think Earth and Sky maybe. But it has this really pretty light blue which is actually turning up like a gray. And then it has dark brown and then lighter brown. And I love how it's, excuse me. It's curling up, and I do not know why. I used a 2x2 two two ribbing on this hat, thinking that maybe it wouldn't curl, but it did. And the regular, and the stitch I'm using is a pearl because I love the pearl stitch. It's so much easier for me to work with. Um, so I have, this le I have this left, much left. And then I have a smaller cake of that. My cat is still scratching the book. Oops. And I don't have um, stitch. I don't have stoppers for the end of my needles. So I went into my uh, bead collection and took buttons or not buttons beads and put them on the end of my needle so that my stitches don't come off. And I'm not going to show you the bag I made because it's in pretty bad shape. Okay. So. Okay. Um. And that knitted hat and I cast it on 96 stitches. And so, I think it was 96. Um. The next one is my whips. And I, there are a lot of loom knit whips. Um, this one right here is a hat for my cousin. I just started it. I just got the brim done and working on the body, I guess, for the head. Um, I did, I think, 16 for the brim and then just folded it back up on itself. And I'm going to do 20, 24, 25 rows and then do... Angie Wade's um, decrease for the hat. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, and just one thing. These mittens right here. I got the idea 
off of Made With Love by Glamma. Um, I watched hers and the actual mitten part it was fine. And then when I started the one, the cuff was giving me kind of an issue. And then what I did was I just turned off the video and watched it in silence and under watched what she was doing. And finally, I got it. So, yeah. And then, um, sorry, I had to get my bag of my projects. And all of the ones that I'm going to show you are um, in bags. Because I have a tendency to get my yarn in knots. Um, and I don't have any of those um, really pretty bags, project bags that everybody is saying and talking about and buying. I don't have money for them, so I just use Walmart bags. They work just as well. My work. <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of yarn. Yarn mess. There we go. Okay, so this is one the size next to the um, middle one. It's a small one, and then you get the next size up. This one's on that one. And it is made out of um, super, Red Heart Super Saver in the color Minty, I think. And um, Medium Time. And I just started this, so there's not real much in that one. And then this is a scarf. And this scarf, I think, let's see. Yes. I'm using up a lot of my scraps that I have just laying around. So this is it so far. It started out purple and orange. See, Red Heart Super Saver. And then went into purple and pink. And... The pink, it, or the purple is Red Heart Super Saver, um, I think Amethyst. It's this like real, it looks blue on camera, but it's really a deep purple. And then the pink I have, I'm not exactly sure about it because I got it. Let's put that yarn in there too. I wonder what I was going to do with those. It's this pink gray right hair that's showing up like purple. I mean, I need to get better lighting in there. But it, I got it at like a flea market, so I'm not really exactly sure what color it was. There was no ball bands on them. But I got like three of, three, um, cakes, or three skeins of yarn for like five bucks. And then my second yarn, or second yarn, <laughs> My second scarf, and I did not leave in my ends, but um, it's also one a loom. This is part of the um, the uh, Martha Stewart loom set. I have a scarf on um, the small loom here, and I like it. This is the same color minty, and the red, which I think is it's either cherry red or hot red. I'm not exactly sure. So I got that one in there. Oops. And what I'm planning on doing is I found another, the same color red, and I'm going to do it, you know, like I did this one, you know, with two different colors. And then I'm going to eventually make it into an infinity scarf. So I think that'll be really pretty. Next and bomb. Okay, I have one more works in progress. And it's here. Okay. So I made my pap a um a scrap yarn blanket that I just made in all different colors. And he uses it when he comes home from work and takes a nap on the chair. And then I made my great my grandparents a queen size blanket made out of yarn and made out of granny squares for their bed. They have a 
queen a king size bed and they needed a heavier blanket than what they had so I made one using granny squares I made a big one and then just made little room ones for on the outside but this one is just using scraps but just using a double crochet back and forth and this is all I have done of it so far just that many rows but it's quite long I can't get it all in the camera but I'm I'm 5'3", and it's just a little bit over that. So, that's that blanket. But that's all I have. That'd be a very colorful scarf, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so that is... Excuse me, I'm crossing it off my list. That is everything for my yarn projects. Now I want to talk to you guys about other things. Um, so for Christmas I am getting money, which I have been for the last couple years. And there is some things on Amazon that I really like to have. So I'm going to get a Visa card and, you know, do that. Um, most of it is crochet, you know, I crochet hooks and a crochet case because the one that I'm about to show you isn't going to hold all of my crochet hooks anymore. Um, and then I ordered, I hear everybody on YouTube talking about pom-poms and I would like to make, start making pom-poms for on some of my hats. I'm not exactly sure if I'm really going to get into it or not. Um, so we'll just have to see. Um, I ordered two, the two large size pom pom makers, and I ordered a new ball yarn ball winder because the one I have is getting a lot of use out of. Yesterday afternoon, I finally made all my cakes that I have been making projects out of. I rolled them back into cakes because my bag that I carry around the house is starting to look a little messy. So, that's what I'm doing. And then, um, what else did I order? I ordered a couple more, um, loom knit hooks. Because I misplaced one. Can't have two left. One of them is really bent. So, yeah. I'm going to, sorry, my nose is itchy. So, I'm going to get some of those. Um, I ordered some amigurumi eyes also. Because next year I'm going to start try to get back into the amigurumi. I have made a couple of things. Um, not very many. I made an octopus. I made um, two um, long neck dinosaurs. And I, and I made an elephant. And I think that's about it. So, um, so I'm going to show you my patterns book just this big ol' sorry it's backwards I actually did that in like my own little um drawing skills but this does not have everything that is wrote down here like it has rainbow loom well it does have two rainbow loom I do that too but not very much um I haven't done very many bracelets lately I basically been crocheting and knitting basically it has sorry hair on my shirt but it just has all my patterns that I found on Ravelry and um, one um, on Ravelry and you know when I watch a video and I like the pattern I write it down and then I guess I need the pen out um, now I'm going to show you my crochet hook case um, this was actually, I think it's actually a makeup, a makeup bag, but I, you know, made it into my crochet hook. And I kept opening it upside down, so I had to write the word front on it in permanent marker. Because I kept opening it upside down and my crochet hooks kept falling out. So, this is what it has in it. It has a zipper part over here. Um, this thing has all my fake stuff in. This one right here, I have all of my 
yarn papers, you know how they come with the color. I cut the color off and tape a piece of yarn to them. And then back here is all my crochet hooks. My light up crochet hook that I never even used. I think I only used it once. And my loom hooks are in there. And then this one right here just has my little scissors and and then my cat again. And then this thing right this tube right here has all of my um all of my needles in. And then these two needles right here are what I use the most, so I just kind of, it was a hassle getting this out every time, putting it back, so I just punched them through the fabric right there and tied them in there. Oh, and this, this red heart thing right here, um, it was, their patterns that I would like to try one of these days. And then this pack, this pack, pack, little section, oops. Okay, I can fell out. This section right here has my finger. Whenever I loom it, it gets a big sore on it. So I made like a little, here I'll just show you what all I have in here. So I made this that goes on my finger and it protects my finger from getting sores. I have tape in here. I don't have any little bags handy. So I use these easy pill bags and I use when I loom it, I use um I use pens that I cut in half. These are from my work. <laughs> but I use pens to like guide the yarn where I want it to go. And then these are my stitch markers that I ordered off of Listia. Listia is a website where you can go and order stuff for free you don't pay any money unless you pay for shipping you get credits and stuff and then you use the, your credits to get things and buy things and stuff like that so it's pretty cool um and then i have my my row counter that i that i got at ac moore's and then I have a bag of little rubber, rubber bands for like, you know, whatever I need them for. And then this little container right here, where is it? There you go. This little container, um, I told you in my second video about these like little clothespins that I got. Little clothespins. I use these sometimes for stitch markers if I can't find my other ones. And I have a couple of them stored in here. And that's what I use. And then I have a measuring tape. The ones you get for like sewing and stuff. And then I have little sticky notes that I keep in there. And then I have these scissors. I need to find the like thing for on top of them because they're very, very sharp. I have them closed now. And then I have fingernail clippers, um, because sometimes I get a hangnail and I have to cut it off because it gets caught on my yarn and that hurts. And then I have my needle threader. So, that's, let me just put this stuff back in here. So that is everything that I have in that little section. Um, the other section I have is just where my papers are for like all of the yarn colors that I've bought. It says I have bought, I think I counted them the other day, and I think there's like 70, 74 or 75 in there that are different. And yes, they're all Red Heart. I love Red Heart. You know, it's the cheapest kind around me that I have right now. Sorry, I gotta put that one pen back in my pencil box. Um, so what I have missing the pencil out of there. Okay. So what I have in this other zipper compartment, which is right here, is my big crochet hook. I think this is a P maybe. So I have that in there. And then I have a lead pencil. Um a pen 
marker type thing, and then a regular old fine point sharpie. And then you know everything else that I have back here, so that is my crochet hook case. I'm getting, uh, it's almost 26 minutes, so I'm going to end here. For those of you four subscribers that I have, thank you for subscribing, and I hope to get more subscribers. Hopefully I can keep making YouTube videos. Um, right now I am recording on my Kindle 8. Hopefully I can upload this in a couple hours or whatever. Um, so thank you to the subscribers that I have. Um, Sorry, I keep saying, saying, um, but that's it for this time. Hopefully, by next time I make a video, I can have all of my stuff from Amazon, and I can show you, um, but that's pretty much about it. Me and my mom are gonna go shopping on the day after Christmas so we can get what we want and like I said I'm getting a visa card and then hopefully by then I can you know get my stuff ordered from Amazon and have it shipped and some of the stuff that I did want to order they ran out of stock I guess so it went off my order and the amp the Safety eyes is one of the one things that I definitely wanted. But if it's on back order, then I'll just keep the money that I have on my card and order it another time. There also is some yarn that I'm looking to get off of yarnfactoryoutlet.com. So it depends on how much stuff I buy on Amazon if I will be able to get it on you know if i can get the yarn that i want if not i'll just wait till my birthday in june and order it but i got onto yarn factory outlet from ross as smell great guy he has the smells like yarn podcast so yeah i'm gonna get some crochet hooks for myself and a lot of them a lot of them that i have um I got them from my pap's mom and she passed away and um they're old they're the really nice ones but they're really really great um hook in them i love those ones i don't like the ones from walmart which i think is boy brand b-o-y-e so but i like i love the susan bates hooks and that's pretty much where i got them all is from susan bates so gone up almost to 30 minutes now so i think i'm gonna end here if you like this video please subscribe and i'll talk to you later bye